Following current cake trends or starting your own can grow your cake business and your following on social media. Let's look at how to start and spot cake trends by seeing what types of styles or designs are always popular, however you tweak them to make them your own. Drips are an almost guaranteed success. Traditional drips made with chocolate ganache started a few years ago and quickly turned into a huge trend with drips of every colour appearing on cakes around the world. The simple drip developed into a sprinkle drip, and then there were mirror cakes, where you pour coloured mixtures onto a cake and as the liquid floods and drips down the cake, you'll see beautiful colours and patterns emerge. Tsunami cakes are the most recent variation of the drip trend, where you frost and chill a cake and then push a ring of acetate down onto the top, or you can use a cookie cutter. These were initially done with doll cakes, but the trend works for all sorts of cakes, like this Christmas tree cake. Pour ganache into the ring and sprinkles or glitter if you like, and when you serve the cake, you lift it up to let the drip spill down. Any kind of drip is satisfying to watch, and it's easy to do if you get the right consistency of the drip. So it's not rushing down the cake all the way to the bottom, but it's also not so thick it gets stuck and doesn't actually drip. Explosions are another recipe for success. Remember those sprinkle explosions or piñata cakes with candy or sprinkles spilling out when you cut them? Recently, the hot chocolate bomb trend took over, where two chocolate halves of a sphere were filled with hot chocolate powder and marshmallows to explode within a mug of hot chocolate, but they could also be used as cake toppers, and they morphed into these breakable hearts with fun fillings inside, which can also be used as cake toppers. Any cake or cake decoration that looks pretty but has a surprise inside is likely to trend. Sprinkles have been popular for a few years now, but instead of casually sprinkling them onto cakes, unique sprinkle placements have become very trendy. Sprinkles can be used for borders around the bottom of cakes, or scattered onto melted chocolate to make sprinkled chocolate cake toppers, but much more intricately, they can be pressed one by one into drips to make a sprinkle drip, or pressed into specific areas of stencil designs, or even held against a stencil to create designs on cakes made entirely of sprinkles, or used to cover up the join on half and half cakes, or to create quick and easy stripes. The possibilities are endless. Sprinkle placement can be time-consuming, so anything unique but not too complicated to achieve is bound to catch on. Lots of cake designs are eye-catching, but certain colours and colour combinations are particularly attention-drawing. Red and black, because they're so dramatic and also notoriously tricky to achieve, and gold always gets a great reaction because it's surprising to see metallics on things that are edible. And this can be just gold details, like brushing the edge of buttercream flowers, or you can cover an entire cake with gold lustre dust to make it really shine. But really, any bold colour will be eye-catching, like hot pink or dark purple, especially when it's paired with contrasting colours, like the orange and yellow on this purple cake. As far as colour combinations, anything that isn't typical for a season or holiday, like using pink and orange instead of black and orange for Halloween, or using pink for Christmas is a pleasant break from the expected red and green colour scheme. Everything rainbow seems to become a trend, and cakes are no exception. Tint the layers inside a cake, or use rainbow-coloured filling between the layers, and rainbow-coloured frosting is always a hit. Rainbow swirls on top of cakes, rainbow cake toppers, basically whatever cake design or decoration you think of, doing it in rainbow colours will exaggerate the reaction. A key factor in whether something trends or not is how easy it is for other cake decorators to do. Jelly Island cakes are amazing to look at, but incredibly fiddly and time-consuming to make, so that's a trend that never really took off. Same with half-and-half half cakes, where you have to make two flavours of cake and two flavours of frosting and two types of decorations. Compare those to unicorn cakes, which were trending for a long time because they're so easy. A simple round cake, lots of swirly rosettes, and a few easy fondant details. Very manageable even for beginners. These rosette cakes were a huge trend for the same reason. They're easy. Piping roses petal by petal is much more time-consuming and requires a flower nail, which not everyone has. But rosette cakes are simple, and the only tool you need is a star tip, like a 1M, which every cake decorator has. I made these porch cakes thinking they might trend because they're so much easier to make than a gingerbread house. We'll see what happens. Another reason cakes will be copied and start to trend is that the technique or recipe is achievable by home bakers, not just decorators working in bakeries. Sugar lollipops make fun cake toppers and they're much easier to make than isomalt cake toppers, which require an unusual and expensive ingredient and also quite a bit of practice. 
Meringue pops are made with egg whites and sugar, very simple, and the technique for piping them is the same as for making rosettes on a cake, so anyone who's done that can follow a recipe for meringue pops to use as cake toppers. Buttercream transfers are starting to trend now, popping up all over Instagram, and it's because they're a simple, home baker friendly way to create intricate detailed designs without needing to buy an edible printer or any other fancy tools. Although being relatively easy to make is important, cakes that make you wonder how are usually picked up quickly by fellow cake decorators and mimicked around the world with different variations appearing as each person puts their own spin on it. Think striped cakes, which seem impossible to make so perfect with just buttercream, and this marble effect which is also mysteriously achieved with buttercream, and the dramatic effect of the fault line cakes, and cakes that look like they've been carved and these actually have been carved. I teach all of these techniques and designs and styles on my online cake school and the link is in the top of the screen and in the video description. An important reason why cakes trend is that there is an actual demand for them. Why? Because usually the people who are starting trends are people who make cakes to sell them to customers. So the designs or techniques or styles are going to be ones that people have ordered. Number cakes work for literally any age, so are great for every birthday celebration. And striped cakes and drip cakes, those are versatile styles that work for any occasion. Compare that to, say, a poker themed cake, or a cake with piped beads made for a 50s themed party. Those are very particular themes that aren't in high demand, so they're not a likely design to trend. Cakes decorated with chocolate covered malt balls or any other easily found candy or ingredient can be fun and easy to make and they might trend, but using materials that aren't super accessible adds a wow factor to the cake and makes it more likely to trend. Icing sheets are printed with gorgeous edible designs and they can be ordered online, but can't be found in your local supermarket or grocery store, making these cakes more elusive and mysterious because unless you know about icing sheets, you would never guess what was used to achieve this effect. Wafer paper, gold dust, and edible glitters are other examples of this. So if you want to start a trend or choose one of the designs or techniques you've seen to put your own spin on, Choosing something that falls within one of these 10 categories will increase your chance of creating a popular cake, getting more cake orders, and blowing up on social media. Thanks for watching. Check out my online cake school for lots of courses to take your cake decorating skills to the next level with hundreds of designs and techniques to learn.